it p being prepared to lose relationships with my family I already didn't give a fuck about my family to begin with for real for real let's be honest it's a couple of them that i still rock with and i actually do fuck with the other ones i can care i can care fucking less about um but i did i made this decision because of course i'm not gonna lie yes my family keep them keep them keep them we'll figure it out we'll figure it out i don't have time to figure shit out i have shit going on now i need solutions right now i need to be able to get the fuck up and go make this money now like i need to i don't have a lot of fucking time and nobody gets that i'm not scared to fucking die i don't care about dying i don't care i care about leaving my kids with nothing knowing damn well i'm the only motherfucking person on this earth who loves them and i literally mean it because it shows it fucking shows the cops even before they brought us to before they took my kids to children's services the cops tried to call kendrell and he said i got two other kids on the way so i can't take them obviously all the niggas dead but like, literally and i cannot fucking wait because when i <laughs> not too much information no i'm not gonna say too much but I made this decision right here, knowing I was about to lose bonds with my mom forever, knowing I'm about to lose my sisters forever. I already, prepa I already prepared because, to, to be honest, motherfuckers wasn't doing shit for me anyway, but fucking trying to judge every fucking move I fucking made, downplaying me, doing weird ass shit for people who don't give a fuck about them, like just weird as fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck about my family. I already did. I made this move knowing I was about to lose my family. I didn't give a fuck because I barely had the bitches in the first place. Literally, their friends is always more important. Like, I'm not worried about nobody like that. I could care less. So, yes, the only thing I ever gave a fuck was about was losing my fucking kids. And I don't know if a lot of y'all already know. They had already taken my kids for a year and a half because my son's dad died. And when they when he died, they they lied on me and said I did it. Children's Services took my kids away, literally, for the false allegations. no i don't need mental help my heart's broken i'm a little fucked up emotionally but that's probably the only mental that my that i need is an um, emotional counselor or some shit but i'm cool because i don't need no type of mental help i'm not mental i'm not going through whatever the fuck i don't fucking know i'm just not going through nothing mental everything i got going on is some straight bullshit unfortunately but at the same time i have this plan I don't know what else to do this this was my i did multiple 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 cries for help nobody said shit nobody did anything and actually no when it got really really fucking bad really fucking bad and i'm talking about long 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 ago when it got really bad and i really had nobody to fucking turn to nobody and i'm talking about it was worse than this shit right here actually no that's a fucking lie no actually no it sure the fuck was way, way worse than this when I broke down, I didn't, it wasn't how, I, I literally broke down and I actually went fucking mental. I mean, I literally fucking went mental. Nobody to talk to, nobody, nothing, but everybody, oh, don't believe Les, don't talk to her, she's, she's insane, she's insane, she's, I wish I fucking was insane. But now, now I'm not, I have a fucking plan. Like I said, regardless of whatever, how long it takes to get my kids back.